Hey, it's Scott Orner, Cruise Consulting, and today I'm talking about what is an aqua hire. And this is a term in startup world that defines a company that probably built some really great technology, but more importantly, had an awesome team, um, like a really awesome team. And a bigger company usually looks at it and says, you know what, for us to go out and, uh, and hire, you know, 10 amazing engineers like this, it's going to cost us a bunch of money. Why don't we buy this startup that didn't quite make it, didn't quite get product market fit, ran out of money, but has this amazing team. And you know what? Oftentimes they'll scoop up the technology as well with the team. Usually it's kind of a dual thing, but it's usually not technology driven. It's usually people driven. So the big company is actually buying the company to get the people. It kind of makes sense. And this, this typically happens when things are really hot, when there's a really hot market and it's really hard to hire people. So this would describe like 2020 through 2022. It's gotten, the market's a little colder now, 2023, 2024, when I'm recording this. And so we are seeing less aqua hire um, purchase, but we still see them. We still see a decent amount of crews. Um, and they're typically not big outcomes, just so everyone knows that it's a way for the company to get a little bit of money back and return some money to shareholders. More importantly, the company officers typically do it because it's a soft landing for the team. They get, the team gets to go somewhere. Everyone spent all this time recruiting and building these people up and they all have a common experience. They usually like each other. And so they can be plug and played into a bigger company organization. And so it's just a nice soft landing for everybody. But it's again, not a, not a big outcome. This isn't one you gotta write home about. It does look good on the resume uh, for the founders if they can get the company bought through not like via an aqua hire. Um, it's also typically structured as an asset sale or asset purchase, meaning the big company just buys specific assets at once and the peep gets the people and they're not going to take the liability associated with buying the whole company, right? So they don't want those liabilities. They just want the people. And sometimes there's like metrics, like, you know, it's two or $300,000 per engineer, $500,000 per engineer. That's again, w when things are really hot and people are looking for some type of valuation metric, um, uh, but that's, that's how it works. And it's actually, I think it's one of my favorite things about Silicon Valley because, you know, even though you didn't have a big outcome, you clearly built something valuable and you assembled a really great group of people. And typically the bigger companies recognize that and they want to take advantage. And again, if you're a founder and you're going through this process, it does look good on your resume. Like you were able to find a home for your people and get some of the money back for your investors. So I encourage Companies don't just throw in the towel and quit and write your investors an email saying you're out of there. If you're not going to make it, you know, you're not going to be able to raise another round, but you build something substantial, then try to organize an aqua hire. It's, it's not that hard. People do it. Even in the down market, people are going to do it. So hope that helps. Hit us up at cruiseconsulting.com if you have more questions. And please like and subscribe to this channel. We'd really appreciate it. It helps other people find the videos. Uh, if you have any questions, hit us up. Thanks so much. Talk to you soon.